We're all ready to go. I'm in my funky gown. <laughs> hmm. Now where were we? We're currently lost. We cannot find where we're supposed to be going. And I just realized I'm wearing zebra socks. Zebra is the mascot for Alice Danlos syndrome. So it's quite fitting, really. I didn't even plan it, but I thought that was super cool. So when I show you my outfit that I have to wear, I will make sure to wear the zebra socks at the bottom. It's now just after 10 o'clock. And so they're running a bit late. Just trying to escape the video. Um, so they're clearly running late, which has me a little bit more anxious. Um, just because I'm I'm ready to go, like I'm ready to get this done and I'm a very punctual person and I would like to get in there as soon as possible but it is what it is, I'm going to try and relax through it and just rest but yeah, I just, I get a bit anxious about the fact that I have to wait because I just, I want it to be over and done with but that's fine, we can put up with it, sit with the discomfort. <laughs> pre-op forms. There's a lot of questions and I forgot to bring my pharmacy medication list so I have to sit here and write out all of my medications which is going to take forever but it's fine. Um, the person before me hasn't gone in yet so. We're all ready to go. I'm in my funky gown. <laughs> yeah boy. <laughs> and we just, it's about an hour before I have my surgery. I just saw the lady before me go in, she's having jaw surgery as well, and she was a first time jaw surgery girl, and it was really nice just to reassure her, so that's fun. And now we're just gonna sit and wait, I'm gonna hang out with my iPad, and see you later. Have some fancy socks. Whee! 11.30 for surgery, we're nearly ready to go, I'm in my robe. We're just finishing the health questionnaire, and then hopefully in about 25 minutes or 30 minutes, I'll be off into surgery, which is exciting. Hi guys, so I'm out of surgery. Surgery went really well. We're just we're quite swollen. We've got our wound here with some ice packs on it. I've had a bunch of eliminated ice blocks because those are life. And I've got out of my hospital gown. I'm now in my room. Um, nothing too exciting. There's a TV over there, and the um, the wallpaper is. Lavenders, which I really like because I love lavenders, but um, the pain's pretty bad, not gonna lie. Um, we've used up all of my pain relief, but we've decided not to give me more, so anyhow, hey um, I think I can I can put up with it for a little bit. I'm waiting for mum to bring me some warm pants because I only bought shorts thinking it was gonna be super hot, but I was wrong. And some ice cream because I'm so hungry for ice cream. Oh. Mum has just arrived and she has brought the goods. We've got some Halo Top. I'm currently just about devoured this box of Halo Top. It is so good. My jaw makes a funny noise. It's very freaking loud. It sounds like a zip going up and down. It's pretty uncomfortable. But this has hit the spot. I'm now in my pajamas. We have pain has gone whoop because all of my post-op pain meds have gone whoop. Pretty sore. Oh well. Um, we're now on a food mission. So I've had a whole tub of Halo Top and that's all I've had to eat today. <laughs> um, oh and I've melted like sucked on some of my favourite chocolate to get my sugar up. But I'm gonna go make some uh, there it is some uh, porridge for dinner and then have like a little bit of sorbet just freshen it up for dessert and then zip hit the hay because it's like nearly seven o'clock and I am blowing tuckered out so yeah I think Sonia's about to leave say goodbye good night you're more tired than I am good night <laughs> I thought I'd just I just finished my Delicious oatmeal. It was actually really good. I didn't, I didn't think I felt like it. Just something a little bit more savory. It was really good because I've just had sweet stuff. I've been living on 
popsicles and I had a tub of a halo top which was immaculate but and then I had this thing that made me a vegan milkshake but it's literally just banana it's pretty rank but I tried it nonetheless they, they tried it with see if it counts and then here we have some lemon sorbet, which is the piece de resistance. I'm not gonna lie, my eating disorder is kind of screaming right now. But so is my jaw. Normally, I would restrict because I've got an excuse to. This is different. I'm in recovery now, bitches. That means thinking logically, which also means realizing that I'm in recovery from surgery. Sorry, my jaw, it squelches when I move it. Anyway, my body needs a lot of energy right now because it's trying to heal itself. And also I had bugger all to eat today. Just because what I ate contained a lot of sugar. Doesn't mean I'm gonna get fat. Just finished my gelato. And yeah, the milkshake was bad, but I have to have something to take my nightmares with. So burning teeth <laughs> yeah no. I'm sorry that's bad also they gave me some vegan yogurt the glad wrapped that pot in it and broke in the cupboard but also there was like this much <laughs> I was very disappointed <laughs> sad and I didn't even want to try it <laughs> um, but yeah I'm going to let me brush my teeth have the face wash feel a little bit more human then I'm gonna plug my iPad on and just watch some TV and probably hopefully fall asleep because I'm pretty exhausted I am currently changed now I just had um, mast cell activation syndrome episode so I went into anaphylaxis from the smoothie that I drank yay um, and I opened my jaw really wide so it's super sore um, we've got an action plan in place for if it happens again so I'll be taken up to the ICU I'll be given more IV like that and I just had a really good chat with the doctor who was keen to learn about my condition which was so cool um, it was really cool making sure that you pass on your information because being a weird patient it's natural that they're going to be curious and the more that they want to ask the better it is for their people with our condition to get it out there so zebras unite um, I'm still really shaky from the I'm adrenaline because it's still got that much to run so I'm going to probably not sleep tonight but I will take some lorazepam and some sleeping meds and see if I can I don't think I will but we'll see so much pain that was interesting <laughs> I had another reaction so I'm being moved to the public hospital to the ICU unit there um, to be monitored they tried to get an IV and they've tissued it so many times and I'm just exhausted I gave everyone a huge fright including myself that was a big, big reaction I'm in a lot of pain like a lot of pain um, my blood pressure is 50 systolic so they're running a lot of fluids they're going to do them um, bilaterally and just chuck me in the ICU I don't want to go there I'm nervous and I'm, I'm anxious and I'm scared and I'm alone but these people here are great they're taking really good care of me and I don't feel so alone so I know that everyone of you guys is with me we're all packed up and ready to go to the ICU it is quarter to ten I'm now hooked up to a permanent IV of adrenaline just one mega an hour um, my jaw is very 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 sore um, they're just getting my sorbet out of the fridge so I'm gonna nibble on that for a little bit yummy <laughs> sorry excuse my shaky hand um, mum's kind of wanting to come in but I told her to just stay and get some sleep I'll look at the talker in the morning um, I'm going to demolish this thing of sorbet because I'm hungry as heck 
I'm not, I just need something to do to distract me. My eating disorder won't like it, but at this point in time, I really don't care. I put your hoodie back on because I miss you. It's currently 1.16 in the morning. My pain is extremely bad. I'm going to have a big moon face because I've had about six litres of fluid. So I'm really puffy and that's really affecting my mental health as well because I feel huge. I feel like a beluga whale. But it's just because all of the tissue, like the stuff is tissued. Um, it's based in my tissues. My legs look, for me, look huge making my eating disorder go crazy but I did have to have some chocolate because my potassium dropped too low they had to give me potassium syrup which tastes disgusting I don't know if you've ever tried it so I had to have a little bit of chocolate to suck on which was hard um, but because I'm on 24-7 adrenaline I'm really really like hyped up so I can't get to sleep we've tried a bunch of meds and I still can't get to sleep which is hard and then in the morning if I'm still reliant on the um, adrenaline they're going to put a central line or a pick line in so they can give direct adrenaline um, which is scary I don't think I'm going to be out of here tomorrow at all I am going to be in here for a while I think but hopefully I'm being treated really well. These guys are amazing. Hi guys, it is now nearly four o'clock in the morning and I've just managed to finish crying. I feel awful. I feel like I'm so puffy and I'm struggling with that. And I'm also just struggling with a lot of mental health stuff as well as physical health stuff. My jaw is in agony and they can't give me any more pain relief. Um, so I've just busted out my, I sat at the stars and walked outside, said a prayer, and then I've come back inside and just, um, I'm going to watch a movie, I think, or do some art, one of the two. I've only got another couple hours to kill, but I'm feeling a little better. I haven't had any more reactions, but, and I'm down to three mils of adrenaline per hour. Morning everybody, I'm still in ICU, I'm still in my dream on trip. But I am having my own food, so I'm having oats and a hot chocolate for breakfast. I didn't sleep at all last night, oh no, I lie, I got an hour's sleep. Sleep, I won't call it sleep, but rest. They're looking at moving me down to a ward today, I've provided I have no other episodes, but that's good. I have the actual best view. If I could go out and sit there, that would be nice. Um, I just had a shower and I've done my hair, so I'm feeling a little bit more human. And we've unhooked the adrenaline. I am free, but I can move my arm. Hallelujah! Um, still got all my IVs in, but it's okay. And we're hopefully going to get on top of the pain. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I just really want to get out of here, but they're going to move me to a ward. I would like to be distant, but that's not going to happen. Um, so we're going to have to extend our flights. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to cruise, try and watch a movie or something maybe, because time is going so slowly. And I'm really struggling with food at the moment because I'm just snacking. And I know that's what my body needs, and my body is healing from, this, from a big thing. But it's hard. So hard. I have the best view out there is to the Hagley Rose Gardens. I think I have the best room in the entire hospital. But I'm feeling a lot more human now. So that's nice. Had a shower, cleaned my teeth, and mum's coming with some my halo top. And she'll be here very soon, I think. Um, so yeah, and I think I'm getting moved to the Max Fat Ward. Hopefully in a side room because I can't have I can't be in a room with other people because my mask's out. And fingers crossed I have no more reactions and I can just have a smooth sail, chill here for a bit and then leave. That's the plan. Mum has come. She's brought me some Halo Top. I just had some Halo Top and it was so good. I'm so tired. I'm really exhausted. 
Honestly, the team in Christchurch is amazing. I would, I have never come across such good healthcare. So shout out to Christchurch. I am struggling with the fluid third spacing that's made my body look a little bit bigger. Um, my mental health is really struggling with it, but that's okay. Hey guys, so I just finished having a nap ish and saw my surgeon, he's happy and he's still happy to go ahead with um, April but just in a different plan so we we're all on a roll to be discharged today which is super nice the weather's turned to crap which isn't fun but oh well we can, we can coop up in our motel and watch a movie eh so we're getting ready to head off at some point once we've got all this junk off and yeah just head back and cruise in the motel for a little bit I'm still in a lot of pain for my jaw but my specialist said it should be a few more days before it settles down so that's that's reassuring we're going home we're going home well to the motel gardens are gorgeous and it's an even more beautiful day because I'm going home well I'm going to the motel but I'm leaving the hospital I think I am one of the only patients who've ever been discharged home from ICU everyone's so surprised that everyone's so confused why someone is walking in the ICU every time I was walking in the hallways people were giving me funny looks because I looked okay <laughs> but I'm glad the, the staff here are actually the best staff I've ever come across. They are amazing. Um, they've just done the most amazing job. They talked me through my eating disorder thoughts, which was so incredible. Like, both nurses were... Looking <laughs> good. Yeah, I'm ready to go home. Go ahead has been given. We are out of here. Go ahead. So we're officially in the car. It took a while, but we are here. <gasps> Flowers. Oh, Flowers. They're so cute. Oh, thank you, Mum. What? We made it. It feels so good to just be out of the hospital, even though I'm not home. So. That's good. It's currently half past nine. I went to bed at four. Yeah. Yeah. Just woke up. I'm gonna have ice cream for dinner. Because I freaking can. There's nothing else that I feel like right about now. Um, my eating disorder is very loud about that, but you know what? Stick it up its bum. really well except for when I woke up about four times to get more pain relief. I'm just about to have breakfast. We were gonna go to Brighton Pier today but the Port Hills are on fire but if we can still get there we'll get there. It's a nice day and it would be nice to just finish off with something a little bit more calming, no energy needed um, and then we fly out at two. We've got to return our rental car at one and then we'll just chill at the airport from two onwards. We'll get a coffee just sit and chill and then hit our flight and hopefully none of them get cancelled.
we're all packed up, ready to head off, and we're just leaving the motel now. It's a lovely, beautiful day today. Just gonna go to the pier. Hopefully, there's a fire somewhere around in Christchurch. Hopefully, we won't get stuck. But um, our flight is at two. We've got to drop the car off at one and probably get a coffee out of the pier, sit in the sun, soak up the views, and I'll get Mum to take some photos. And I'll take some photos with you too because we never get photos with you. Mm. Yeah, she laughs, but yet. There's been a change of plan. It looks like there's a Christmas parade going on. And uh, yeah, so we're moving. We're going to a cafe instead. We're off to the beach. It's a nice day. Going for a wee walk. And then we're going to go to a cafe. But we have decided to have lunch at a vegan, kind of vegan, vegan cafe. You'd like it here. Um, but yeah, it was all vegan. And I got a muffin, which will be soft enough for my jaw. And I'm getting porridge for breakfast. Not breakfast. I'm getting porridge. It's like apple porridge with like other bits and bobs on it. And it looks really, really yummy. I'm going to have that for like an early lunch. And then I'm just going to snack. And it's really challenging me. So I got some, some porridge and mum got these vegan dumplings and they look so good. Wow, they look so amazing. So it's currently 10.45 and I'm freaking out a lot about having an early lunch this early. Um, yeah, it's an early lunch, a really, really early, early lunch and I'm freaking out a lot about it because I feel like my eating patterns have been completely out of whack from surgery. I'm really, really struggling, but I'm going to try and aim to finish it all, or as much as I can, and just remember that this is my lunch, and I'm going to snack a little bit more later on, but we've got a busy travelling day, and sometimes, especially after surgery and travel, you kind of have to change things up a little bit. I'm going to try. And this is what it looks like. It's like trees and bean bags. Cool, eh? Well, friends, that concludes the surgery from December 2020. It was a big couple of days, but a step in the right direction. So, if you're watching this in 2022, head on over to my website at authenticallykate.com forward slash jaw to learn more about what's going on now and why I need yet another jaw joint replacement. Until then, stay happy. And yeah, I came home to this super cute surprise from my boyfriend. Bye, friends.